He's in with a chance. So, as you all know, FIFA 23 is a mess. Let's try to figure this out. First thing, go to your window search and type game mode settings. You should see something pop up. Click it and then turn on game mode. This is to avoid interruptions that cause your game to struggle. Let's move on. Launch FIFA, go to your FIFA in-game settings, display configuration, leave your resolution as high as you want. Make sure your game is in full screen mode to avoid overlays and interruptions, which cause many problems. Turn off strand based hair and lower your rendering quality to medium or high, then reset your game. The whole point of this is FIFA doesn't run well at all on PC, so we don't want to add to that by having ridiculous settings on like ultra and things like that so we want to take that off and lower it as much as possible which we shouldn't have in the first place this game should run well especially on a powerful device i know a lot of you have really powerful devices so the fact that this isn't running properly is not your fault it's the game's fault if that didn't work go to window search power plan changed advanced power settings find processor power management Click it and then find processor performance boost mode and then you can either put it at efficient or turn it off. Personal choice. This helps with CPU overload which we all know overheating is going to cause all sorts of performance issues. Go to graphics settings on your PC, find FIFA 23 and from there put it on high performance mode which uses your gaming GPU instead of your weak integrated GPU. Also some cases where your Xbox controller is the issue. No problem though. Go to Microsoft Store and download the app Xbox Accessories, open it, and then plug your Xbox controller through USB. Then the app will allow you to update your controller drivers. We all know FIFA doesn't care about us PC players, so any little thing like this can set the game off. Now I have AMD and Nvidia. And obviously they both have different programs like AMD Adrenaline and Nvidia Control Panel. Make sure that on your PC you optimize each of those settings in those programs. Maybe you have a setting that's causing problems. For example, I had triple buffering on AMD Adrenaline turned on, which caused my FIFA to crash in the home screen. Very strange. Ultimately, EA is a work of art when it comes to anything that's not PS5 or Series X. PC and Switch FIFAs are just getting crumbs from PlayStation and Xbox leftovers. If none of these ways worked, then there could also be another way that I probably missed. But this shouldn't be a problem in the first place. You buy a game and shouldn't have any issues playing it, right? Not on EA's world. It's really a shame we have to spend hours to fix a game we just purchased like if we just bought a used car. EA honestly couldn't care less. If none of this helped to fix a game, at the end of the day, it's not really your PC that's the problem. It's EA, the fact that you even have to buy a game and do all of these things. Look, if you can run Red Dead Redemption or you can run things like Spider-Man Miles Morales, these are games that are much more resource demanding than FIFA. So, the fact that FIFA isn't running really shows that it's not you, it's them. So, that's all you have to think about. Um, go contact them if you can, through forums or whatever, and see what they can do about it. But I don't even know if they can truly do anything. I mean, their game is just a mess on PC. Getting in there to intercept. He's in with a chance! 